Hey, welcome to Flutter Canvas Tutorials. This is a series where I create a simple interaction or an effect with Flutter Canvas. If you'd like to see something specific done, please leave a comment and I will try to make the ones requested. If you haven't seen the previous videos, check them out. The links are in the description. In this video, I'm creating an animated Christmas greeting widget from scratch, something like what you see here. There are a few things you can learn from this video, such as how to animate particles on an ellipse, how to rapidly change colors, how to set a radial gradient background. So here we are in our main function and then we run the my app. My app is a stateless widget which contains greetings widget. So let's take a look at what greeting widget uh, looks like. So that is right over here. It's a stateful widget uh, and there's a few bits and pieces uh, that I will get into. First is to take a look at what the uh, stateful widget look like. So over here we have uh, particles that is used for the, the lights. Uh, I will get into that in a bit. Uh, the thing to note here is that we have a custom paint uh, and then a painter class uh, initialized with uh, the particles. So if you look at the painter class, uh, it is a normal uh, custom painter, uh, which gets the particles here. And we have the should repaint and the paint uh, functions as usual. So over here, we uh, draw the background, the frame, the particles and the text. So that's the basic things that we would do. Um, let's take a look at uh, what's in the uh, draw background function. Take a look. Okay, we're here. Right. So we used this radial gradient before. Uh, it's the same. I just uh, used it from the previous uh, videos, then um, replaced the colors with uh, dark red just to get to the Christmas uh, spirit. So uh, apart from that, there's nothing changed. It's just the create the radial gradient, uh, set the alignment. Uh, I think it is uh, somewhere here. Um, and uh, two colors goes from uh, zero to one. Um, and that will give us this uh, nice looking uh, Christmassy colors uh, in there. Right, okay. Let's take a look at what the frame does. This is a usual thing that we do. We just a, a little rectangle. Uh, in the middle, uh, we always draw. So it's a rectangle from the center that we pass in and then give it a color, uh, stroke width and uh, style and draw a rectangle. Okay, uh, and then uh, drawing the particles and then the text. Let's take a look at how to draw the particles. Um, so at this point, it is, uh, it's a bit complex. Uh, you cannot really see What's going on here? So let's um, let's um, reduce the number of uh, these particles just to see what's going on. So that in order to do that, I will go into this uh, widget. Let's take a look at how the particles are created. So the particle class looks like this. It has a um, each particle has a few points. Uh, and then radius one and radius two and a speed and an angle and a color. Um, here's a list of colors that we use to uh, draw these uh, lines and I will get to that uh, in a bit. So in the make particles, we are creating the particles and then adding to the list. So uh, we initialize the angle to zero, radius uh, of some kind, which is uh, 150 and 100 so the trick over here is to draw these uh, these points inside an ellipse so let's reduce the count to one and you should see how this looks like yeah so it is a ellipse and then I draw from the center lines to the each of the uh, points on on the ellipse so the number of uh, points over here is, uh, these points corresponds to how many 
uh, how many how many points are on border of the ellipse so um, ellipse as you would imagine has two radiuses or radii um, so this is the longer one this is the shorter one and you can create radii using this uh, I will get to that uh, in a bit why this there is uh, not just R1 and R2 there is a, a, a little adjustment that uh, varies with the yeah, each of the particles so the idea here is that we would draw this sort of ellipse one top of each other and each one would be uh, smaller in in the radius so it would be like this and then smaller 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 going up so that's what we do uh, over here the R is the um, R1 which is the uh, largest radia, uh, radius and divided by the count as in how many uh, let's say rings uh, there are so if you have two rings over here then this would look like this right uh, if you have five rings then it would look like this okay so if you put a lot of rings then it becomes a taller tree and what it does here is that it, it, it rotates each of these rings will have a different speed so that is given by here uh, speed is increased for each of the ring by 0.2 um, and we also set a random color which is coming from let's take a look at the colors okay we have a um, few colors over here and then I pick one in random um, over here what happens is um, for each of the points so let's go back to one each of the points uh, I initialize these things so how do we drive this how how does the animation work that is done inside init state so as usual you create the particles in init state and the time uh, there's a timer that we use uh, as before as well so this is a periodic timer with a given duration I'll set it to 40 uh, milliseconds so there will be uh, this function over here this function over here will be called every 40 milliseconds so in this inside that function I um, update the points so that it can be up uh, it can be animated so it has to go inside a set state because then the system will redraw the widget with the particles uh, going in so um, for each particle I get the I increase the angle so that um, this rotates and for each of the points I calculate the uh, the radius times cos and the radius 2 times uh, sine and then some angle uh, over here so um, this is the formula for if you look at this this is the formula for uh, ellipse uh, it's a parametric uh, equation which gives x x, x coordinate with a cos t which is a uh, t is the angle in radians and y equals b times sine t so that's what we are using and then it will give us uh, uh, give us an ellipse so if you look at over here it's simply radius times cos and some angle and then the radius 2 times sine and some angle so let's take a look at what what goes over here so uh, we want to draw a um, few angles so uh, the angle represents where a point would be on the ellipse so we have k which represents each of the points and then rad d so what we have done here is that n represents how many uh, uh, how many uh, let's take a look at that uh, we are um, how many edges there are so that means you can uh, you, you can reduce the number of edges over here let's say six 
and this would look like this and they would use the number of Okay, so we can go for uh, 12 or maybe increase that to something like uh, 24. Um, then you will have more points, right? Something like that. So this, um, if you go back to the update function. So what this does is that on the, uh, we start from some sort of an angle, which is set to um, uh, the speed Plus, um, so we, cre uh, we we convert the angle to radians using uh, pi divided by one to 180. Uh, the speed would be something that we set here to be like um, a small amount, a small amount, uh, and then we convert that to radians. And over here we uh, also divide the 360. So on the 360 we have how many points um, uh, 24 right now uh, it could be 12 6 or something and then convert to the uh, radians so that gives us uh, each of these points on the ellipse so that's what happens uh, but since the angle is ever increasing it moves around it is not static so let's say if we stop that then the, the the points would not move on the ellipse at all so uh, the animation of the points happens because of that right so uh, that's all there is to it it's just that uh, when we increase the number of um, uh, number of particles it draws many of them so it's going to 25 then it looks like this right uh, since we have different speeds for different levels or different rings that is given by this one a uh, little effect so if we uh, so let's say if i take out i from here then they will all rotate at the same speed Right, so let's take a look at how the colors are done. Um, so this is how we draw it. Uh, for each of the particles, um, there is, um, so we, we get the points. Each, each particle has points. That is the points in, on, the, on the ellipse. Um, and then we set a color. First color is for um, drawing the circle. So the colors come from light colors, which has a few different you know, fancy colors. Um, and we select one in random. That's why it shimmers or uh, changes color uh, every time this is drawn. Uh, the B2 is the color that is for the drawing line, which we, we set in the points. So if you look at the P color that we set over here, uh, make particle set the color over here we set the color over here um, so it's some some sort of a green and it is set here so the we draw circles uh, on the ellipse and then we draw circle from um, from the center on to each of the uh, points so let's take a look at what FD means um, so FD F is the center and then we offset uh, center is the center of this rectangle, which is somewhere here, and then we offset by 100. So the base of the tree is uh, below the uh, center. And then for each of the rings, so if a particle represents a ring, uh, for each of the ring, we uh, reduce the height. So over here, x is 0, this is the y uh, coordinate. Uh, which is dependent on i so as uh, it increases the offset is uh, lower so it starts somewhere here and then goes up so that's what happens that's why you see uh, some sort of like a cone cone or a tree like uh, shape 
um, also because the the radius each of the radiuses uh, or radii is uh, reduced when it goes up uh, by a factor of r which is given by here okay so once we have that that is uh, just the um, how this would be drawn um, which is quite simple actually when you think about it uh, and then there's a draw text I just uh, found a, a Christmassy looking font in uh, Google Google fonts which is called Rochester you put that into the pub spec YAML Rochester over here and um, drawing text is uh, as I described in previous videos you just create a text span with the text you want to draw and the style which is given by here red and the font family and the font size and then uh, set that to a text painter object uh, text direction this is a, a required parameter just left to right and then text align uh, we also set the layout which is from zero to uh, max with its uh, w which is the width of this rectangle uh, sorry the square uh, and give it a little um, um, padding so uh, how do we center this uh, on this box uh, this is how so we have an offset which is uh, center dx which is over here and then text paint a width which is the width of this text and then we subtract a half of that width and that would be the start of this text over here and for y directions uh, center dy uh, plus w by 2 um, so w is the whole uh, well, the, the length of the side um, w by 2 is the half of that so we go from the center to this uh, this edge and then we um, add some padding so that is the uh, text paint height which is the height of this uh, this uh, text box which would get us to somewhere here and then we some add some padding so there is space underneath right so that's it that's uh, that's all there is to it it is very uh, very simple happy christmas everyone thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it share like and subscribe for more videos like this and let me know what you want to see in the future. Until next time.